5G is the fifth generation of wireless data networks, and it will improve them far more than 4G or 3G ever could. You'll feel it in your phone, your home, your car, and in the city and town around you. Downloads and streaming should happen literally without delay. Cars will talk to each other to prevent collisions. An untethered augmented and virtual reality can finally be achieved with real-time response. Not to mention industrial benefits like remote surgery or drone control. 5G does its magic with three key abilities. First, high bandwidth. 4G could only muster about 200 megabits per second of data throughput on a good day. 5G can handle up to one gigabit or more, that's a thousand megabits a second, on up. Low latency, 4G suffers from around 100 milliseconds or so in response delay or latency. 5G reaction time can be as low as one millisecond, which makes everything happen virtually instantly. And dense connections. In a given square kilometer, 4G could only manage to connect about one-tenth the amount of devices as 5G can. If that's some of what 5G does, how does it do it? 5G uses new radio technology, the part of any wireless device that makes the connection. 5G uses some radio frequencies in a band known as sub-6, from 600 megahertz to 6 gigahertz, part of which is also used by current 4G LTE. But 5G will also use a higher band of radio frequencies, from 24 gigahertz to as high as 86. These much higher frequencies bring with them much higher data rates. Now, while these new 5G radio waves can carry more data with higher performance, they can't carry it as far. So 5G will use a lot of so-called small cells. These are small versions of the big cellular towers we all know. 5G will also use some new tricks in these small cells like beam forming to efficiently aim transmissions rather than just spray everything everywhere. The bottom line though, you will need new phones, tablets, portable hotspots and the like with a 5G radio inside to connect to the new 5G networks. Your current 4G or even 3G gear can't tap into it. 5G networks will also position more data and computing resources closer to you that will avoid blunting 5G's low latency benefits. Most of us do think of phones when we think of wireless networks, but phones may actually be the least interesting thing about 5G. It will also power autonomous cars, so they have awareness of every other car, bike, pedestrian, and traffic signal around them. Smart cities based on 5G can make almost anything that's electric also connected and aware. When a bridge needs repair, why can't it tell someone? With a mesh of 5G connected sensors, it could. And then there's your home. 5G will offer a new way to get internet there, eschewing cable or DSL, and one day maybe even obviating your Wi-Fi router altogether, as devices may just use 5G natively to connect directly to a wireless ISP. 5G has renewed concerns about the safety of cellular radio waves. Some cities have taken action to block 5G deployment. Health questions come up around 5G's use of microwave frequencies, lots of them as we've seen, thanks to that large number of small cells that will be installed around us. Now, while 5G may sound like a lot of microwave ovens mounted on poles running with their doors open, in fact, microwaves are nothing new. Already emitted by your current smartphone, old cordless phones, your wireless headphones and earbuds, and just about anything with Wi-Fi, as well as, yes, microwave ovens. But even 5G's highest frequencies are considered by scientists to be non-ionizing radiation. You have to move on up to X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic radiation to find the kind of emissions that will harm cells, and 5G is far below that. 5G follows the inverse square law, losing power rapidly at even a small distance from the small cell. The US CDC says there is no scientific evidence to provide a definite answer to the question of cellular radio wave safety, whether it's 3G, 4G, or 5G. 5G will take years to roll out and some investment on your part, but the complexity of that deployment and debugging should be worth the wait, delivering the world we've been promised for a long time, where everything is connected, aware, and responsive and a world in which we can stop worrying about the availability or performance of connectivity in the first place.